All right, guys, this is episode number 97. Episode number 97. So this is my 17th video since I decided to do 21 giveaways in 21 days. I noticed my birthday was 21 days from the time I first started this challenge. And July 12th is coming on up. So my birthday is in about two weeks. And when I we have our giveaway day, we're going to do randomization of probably 20 five videos, I would guess. It's a random comment generator on the internet, and it takes about one minute per video to figure out who the winner is. So I'll post a video on my birthday, July 12th, with all of the winners. All right. In this video, I picked up a binder. I've been talking about a bunch of collections that I bought. So this is a binder that I picked up. It had about 150 autograph and game jersey basketball they're all basketball cards and he had them priced because he does card shows and he was looking to get some money because he's going to the nationals so he needed some extra cash to kind of make some plays with some other cards so he knew that i like bundles i like getting bulk so there's about 150 Game jersey cards would be 140. I guess you can go through and count them all in the video if you feel like you should do that. But I paid about a buck fifty a card, so I paid 200 for it. So I would predict that there's between 130 and 150 for cards. 200, I thought was a fair price. These are the prices that he marked them at, which are very, very fair prices. And if you remember, I bought a Chris Paul from him from the same, not this binder, but a Seth Curry from this binder. I got a Chris Paul autograph from him. I got a Manny Machado, Carl Anthony Towns. I got some good autographs from a friend of mine. So these ones are marked by his prices. So based on his prices... I'm going to give away $10 worth of cards based on what he has the prices at. What I will do is I will put these in new penny sleeves and I will put my price on these. I would say half of these will go in the $2 autograph and jersey box that I have for my garage sale. Or the, I think I have 15 of them for $20. So half of them. I don't think I'm going to make money on, but the other half, hopefully I can make a bucket card on them. So I could see myself making $75 eventually off all these. But when you buy the bulk that I have, make 75 here and there, adds up to a good amount of money. So Wendell Carter, number to 149, rookie. Trevor Reza, I'm going to put $2 on there. So you're making a budget of... $10, what would you like? So if I randomize your comment, you got to tell me what $10 worth of cards do you want? These are based on his prices. There's only like five or six that don't have prices. $2 autograph. That's a good deal. I could see this card being in a budget. $5 for Walker. I'll probably put $8 on that when I reprice it. Jermaine O'Neal. Any of the optic and prism game jersey and autograph cards i am going to pull aside because i'm not looking to sell those right now i actually have a plan for my prism and optic ones here we have two of the same cards numbered to 149 i would mark these probably for four he's an all-star a couple colors but I got to remember that at these prices, these didn't sell when he had his card show too. So if I'm looking to move, maybe I got to go lower end here. Now I know for sure if I were to put all these on eBay, you can get about two bucks a card. So that's one option. But for some of those breakers like Jav's family who get excited about a hit, a autograph, a game jersey, 
when you can get 140 of them for 200 bucks? I don't know. It makes me not as excited for one hit per hobby box type of thing. Do I plan on keeping these in the long term? No, I don't. I would say out of this whole stack, there's nothing that I would look to keep in a PC. So all these will be moved. I love that early patch there. It's from 2008-2009. I think at $5, I would assume that someone would pick this up in Minnesota. Of course, you might have bad memories of him if you're a Wolves fan, I guess. Gary Payton the second. I was hoping it'd say the son of, I guess I don't know for sure. I assume it is. Josh Howard, Josh Howard, Josh Howard. Both numbered out of 50. So again, all the prism ones. If those are the ones you want, that's fine, but all the prism and select, actually, I pull out. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with all my prism and select autographs. If I'll sell them by year, not exactly sure. I didn't show you my prism and optic autographs. I do have Kareem Abdul-Jabbar autograph prism card. I got a couple Magic Johnson prism autographs. Any of the 12, 13, 13, 14, 15, uh, 14, 15 prism autographs I've been picking up over the last year. So, Alfred Payton, Darren Williams, Willie Colley Stein, Mark Price. So, if you're looking at the prices, think about $10. If you were to win the randomization, and if you could have a budget of $10 using these prices, what would you pick? A buck. A buck. three-point shooter. I remember him being in a three-point contest, I believe. Bobby Portis. Isn't that a name from the playoffs? I'm trying to think what team he's on. I swear that's a name from the playoffs. Cool die cut, number 99. Troy Brown. Oh, that's really cool. I'm pretty sure it is Jeff Teague's brother. I believe. Javon Carter. Jordan. I think Pac-Man just pulled a Jordan Mickey autograph, I believe. I think I just saw his name pop up. Ed Davis, AK-47. Andre Kirilenko. Orlando Blackman. For me personally, I would put six or eight of bucks on those. I love those old time players. Maybe it's just me. Two bucks on that. So the ones that are in price, I'll just throw a price up there quick. This one's a thick one. Mitch McGarry. Clean Anthony, Clean Anthony. Number to 499. Brian Grant. Name from the past. That's an early auto. Let's see what date that is. 99. $10. So if you like Brian Grant, you want to do your $10 budget on him, go for it. You want to see his face. 
there's the face. Sean Elliott. Robert Ory. I always think of Lakers when I see him. Bojan. Bogdanovich. Is that a name from the playoffs? I swear it is. Glenn Robinson the third. Well, we're about halfway. Kendall Gill, Corey Jefferson. I thought that was a steal. So for three dollars, I would mark that at six, probably maybe eight. So if you're watching this right now, that's a good deal for three dollars. I know I looked through this binder and I pulled out some, but I was going fairly quick. I think I missed out. I think I, I would have paid three bucks for that back when I went to his card show. Christmas sweater card, two bucks. Jason Terry. I'm sure he was an all-star at least one year or two. Five dollars seems like a pretty good deal for Prism. Jabari Parker. I'll tell you what, I'll do this for ten if that's what you want. It's the same guy, isn't it? It's that one in person? No, it is actually. It just didn't look right. The autograph. Eric Dampier, rookie in 96, 97 with Kobe Bryant. DeAnthony Melton. So this would be his third year in the league. You would have heard of him by now if he was relevant. Well, basketball. You don't see many basketballs on there. Excalibur from 1415. So second year of Giannis. Alright. What do we got? Ooh, that could be a good one still. Still young. Miles Turner. Solid NBA player. Got a couple of his autographs already. Big college prospect. He hasn't done a whole lot in the NBA. He's done better in the NBA than I have, so I can't say much. Ooh, Kevin Love. I might need to put four or five on that one. Just because it's Kevin Love. And it's numbered to 199. Alfred Payton. Looks like it's three different teams here. We got Phoenix, Pelicans, and Blue. What is going on here? Game one material. As a member of Orlando. Seriously? Is that what it says? Was worn as a member of the Orlando Magic in a Phoenix jersey here in a logo of... Wow. Three different teams. That's annoying. Josh Howard. You got a bunch of Josh Howards in here. If you like Josh Howard, you get a couple autographs and a couple jersey cards. What a good day to be you. Oh, that person's name is in the best. Avery Johnson? Hmm. Bobby Jackson. Rookie in 97, 98. Minnesota Gopher. Hmm. Lonzo Morning. Number to 500. I think that'll be in somebody's budget. I actually had a neighbor of mine stop over to my garage sale and was looking for a Lonzo Morning cards. Now I have it. This one's cool. Gold standard number to 199 of Kevin Love. There's that face if you're wondering. I think when I put the price tags on I won't cover the faces. Victor Oladipo for two dollars for his jersey card. That's a good deal. I would have bought that one too. If I put four or five bucks for that one. Remember him in college? Was it Purdue? Yeah, Purdue. I used to be better at knowing the colleges. I used to watch college basketball a lot more. 
Richard Jefferson, Thon Maker, yeah. James Young. Don't know how to say that one. Chiek, Chiek Diallo. Why is all these faces are covered? Stoika Jokovic, Stoika Joka, Stoika Jokovic, Stoiko. Number to 50, Peja Stoikovic. And I think he was the same rookie class as Kobe Iverson. He just didn't play in the United States, in the NBA right away. Could be wrong, but I think he was the rookie class of Kobe and Iverson in 96. Two stacks left. Tyson Chandler, I think that's a good deal for $4. That's another one that I would have bought. I'll probably put $8 on that one. He had some good years with the Bulls. Shabazz Napier, Shabazz, Shabazz Napier. I'm really good with names, so good. Gorgie Dang, $3. If that's one you wanna put in your budget. A Badger, Wisconsin Badger. Someone will know who this guy is. Because I don't. Ooh, another Christmas sweater. Maybe you want the two Christmas sweaters. That makes sense. If that's the one you want, I'll bring it down to 10. Mo Bamba. Does that one say anything about his dad? No, not Peyton. Hmm. Okay. Wayne Selden Jr. Dwight Howard. I might put four dollars on this one. Number to one forty-nine. Played for the Timberwolves. Sweet, is that WNBA? Kaya Stokes. I'm gonna put four dollars in this one. Didn't see there's WNBA. And then Wally Zerbiak, I'll put at fifteen dollars. Just pretty close to the value of the other ones that I have. Oh, this one's number to five hundred. I'm gonna have to put twenty on this. Anybody that's a Timberwolves fan knows him. Play with Garnett. Eight dollars. Last stack here. Got a bunch. All right. Slide those so you can see that. All right. Aaron Brooks, number twenty-five. A little bumpy. It's a three-color patch. Devonte Graham still has hope left. Tony Delk. I watched the video on YouTube. But a guy that owns a card shop in Kentucky, there's a couple of different content creators that have done videos recently about his shop in Kentucky. It's like Kentucky Roadshow. It's a really cool video. He's an amazing shop, but he has the floor to some of the championship winning teams of Kentucky. And Tony Delk, that guy in the cover, or that guy in the picture, is a frequent visitor of that shop. So he brings in his kids, and the owner's like, I would have never thought 20 years ago that I'd be babysitting Tony Delk's kids because he's a big fan of Kentucky and him growing up. And he's big into signing. Yeah, when I saw this yesterday, I was thinking, man, I just want to send this to the shop. So if nobody claims this for 10, I'll probably just send this to the shop. There's certain cards that just probably should go to someone that appreciates it more. All right, Bobby Jackson and Bubba Jackson. Both numbered to 35. I don't know, if you like Bobby Jackson, you could probably get all the Bobby Jackson ones within the $10 budget. That might be the way to go. All right, that's the last two. It's a good way to end it.
Bobby Jackson. And let's put a little Tony Delk in there. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it.